Bob Weldon. I want to talk about uh, my time as an explorer scout uh, in Tahoma post, Explorer Post 72. Dell was a post advisor um, and was, of course, an outstanding person to work, to work with and to be with. We engaged in a lot of outdoor activities and Dell introduced us to what was then called Recreational Equipment Inc., REI. At that time, it was a small second story store down on Pike Street in downtown Seattle. It was managed by Lou Whitaker, who was the first American to, to climb Mount Everest. And so it was kind of a thrill at that time to be able to go to REI and uh, meet Jim and buy our climbing ropes and whatever there. Um, the Post had some wonderful excursions together. In 1960, we spent a week or so in Garibaldi Provincial Park, which is in, in north of Whistler, where Whistler is now in British Columbia. Uh, we took a, the Pacific Great Eastern train from Vancouver to Garibaldi Station. The PGE train was sort of the local train and you were just as likely to see a guy there with his chickens on board as you were with uh, uh, tourists. Uh, from Garibaldi Station, to get to the meadows where we wanted to go camping, there was a, a four hour, seemingly endless switchback trail up, 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 up into the spectacular meadows where we uh, Spent a wonderful week. Uh, we spent the last night in Vancouver at a hotel, and I think at Dell's suggestion, we decided to go see the latest Alfred Hitchcock movie, something called Psycho. Well, it creeped us all out. <laughs> I'm sure no one took a shower for a couple of days, uh, but we had a pretty good time there. One of the things Dell introduced us to at that time was keeping a, a log. Each uh, member of the group would, was assigned a day to write a page into the log of what we did that day. And uh, looking back on them, they are pretty, pretty interesting, pretty fun. Uh, Dell would take the log and then have them typed up and mimeograph. That's for those of you who are too young to remember mimeographs. That was a pre-photocopying pro copying process. And he produced the log for us. And he would give us each our own personal copy of the log with other photographs of, of uh, us campers and uh, the countryside around there. In uh, 1961, we took a similar trip to the North Cascades Park, which was then uh, pretty undeveloped, uh, un unknown. And we, we were there for over a week and we hardly ever saw another person uh, again, North Cascade area, if you've never been up in there, it's a beautiful, uh, awe-inspiring wilderness area. In 1962, uh, many of us attended the first National Explorer Delegate Conference at the University of Michigan. And we, we took a on a two-week trip, we did a cross-country train journey. Uh, the planning committee was largely, largely Del, the boys under Dell's guidance. Uh, he arranged for all the reservations and so on. We went to Chicago, Washington, D.C., Williamsburg, Jamestown, Philadelphia, and New York City. And again, Dell's penchant for the theater he took us to see a, the big hit show of the time, Camelot. On the train, Dell kept us advised of the historical places we were going to see, any suggestions of 
what we should do in our free time. And it was a totally, totally rewarding experience. As I said at the very beginning of my remarks, scouting changed Dell's life. And Dell changed my life. And I'll always be thankful for it. Thank you.